We'll let some people join. No, there'll be a lot of people joining. Hey, y'all. It's Bo, unshaven today. Um, look at that. I, I feel like, uh, I feel like uh, you remember the Chris Farley movie, Tommy Boy, where he always walks by the girls? Hey, we're just going to the gym. Look at this. Um, representing Heber. <laughs> representing Heber. Um, I'm live up in Heber at the fifth stop, and we are... I am talking to some, some great, wonderful, beautiful ladies about their fitness journey. Corey in the middle is a Flash TV family member and she's gonna talk a little bit about her show and what she does. Um, but I thought because this is live, uh, I'm gonna kind of turn it over to her, let her talk to, uh, talk to all the different things that they're doing, what they're doing. I might ask a question or two, but that's kind of the format today. Um, we're gonna step in. Good. Okay, so I'm the crazy host of Flex Squad, and we're I'm following my fitness journey, and um, love Bo to death. So we're taking over his page for a minute because I want these blondes, my fit, uh, fit stop girls, and I'm so proud of them. So this is Bobby Joe, and I want you to introduce yourself and tell us what you're doing this weekend. Okay, so I'm Bobby Joe, and. Um, on Saturday, I am doing, I'm fulfilling a dream of mine of 34 years. I'm competing in my first bikini contest. And so I'm all excited. <laughs> and, you're, and you're 50 something. And I'm in the 50 plus there club. There I'm a grandma Freaking of four, hot. Uh, with one on the way and a mother of three. So get it on. Oh, girls. we're so proud of her. So literally, yeah. I've watched her and Stephanie. This is Stephanie. Hi. Tell me a little about yourself. Well, I'm a sassy realtor. Yeah, you oh, are. Oh, baby. <laughs> yeah. And would you buy mean? a house from her? Sure, you would. Oh yeah. Yeah. She's gonna help me find one in St. George. Yes. P.S. Absolutely. <laughs> Anywhere in Utah. Could be there too. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah. The fit Stop Girls are moving to St. George. So this is my Fit family. We've been working out together for quite some time, and we're just been on this really roller coaster fitness journey together. Absolutely. Talk a little bit about you. you You've all lost weight, and you've all trimmed up, and you've all worked really hard. How much weight, you know, from one time or another, how much, how much weight and how much trimming have you done over, the t over time? Go ahead. Go ahead. Oh. <laughs> okay, I'll start. So um, I've kind of been in the fitness arena for quite some time, but after having kids, I kind of got out of it for a while. I have, I have five kids. I have one Whoa. grandbaby. Whoa! Whoa. <laughs> And um, yeah, so I'm just kind of entering back in the arena. I've been doing it for about nine months now, and I'm down almost 50 pounds. Bam! Ba bam! Ba bam! Bam! Are you kidding me? Oh my gosh, you rock, girl. So uh, actually, I decided I needed to up my game. So uh, Robin Maher with Fit Robin, she's kicked it in for me. So I've lost 40 pounds, and I've got four kids. And I'm 43 this year. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> wow. 30s, 40s, 50s. I mean, right? Any, I any big, it out. Any big bosses, or have you always you been know, pretty trim? I've always been pretty trim. I have, though, um, lost 10 pounds, but I've been able to keep my lean muscle mass. Absolutely. Um, which is really, really, uh, I mean, that's what you really want to do, just trim down and and bulk up at the same yeah. time. You did it natural and right. Uh, absolutely. I'm using an amazing product. Um, can I share that? Yeah. All right. Yeah. Everybody, I'm speaking about it. Okay. It's, it's isogenics. It's all natural. It's the cleanest food out there on the planet. And it is a uh, meal replacement. Well, so you can save money on your food bill. Just uh, get a hold of me and I'll be able to help you out. Sounds good. Obviously, they don't look like they're regular people, but they are regular oh, people. Okay. Oh, yes. Give me, give me some, give those out there and those everywhere uh, a little bit of motivation. Um, you, we, we don't always. We have people out there that are constantly trying to get in shape. You know what? What's been the key for you? And I know you guys help other people. What's the key to getting people motivated and to get working out and to not everyone's going to look like you, but they're going to look like themselves. And, and talk yes. about that for yeah. a minute. And a better version of themselves. That's yes. right. The best version. That's right. The best That's version. Right. So what's advice? What's the advice for that? How would you, what would you tell somebody that's, you know, coming to you that may be a little overweight, 
uh, or, or a lot overweight and, think, and just say, oh my gosh, I can't be like you. What do you tell them? Oh, I think that the number one thing I'd probably tell somebody is find your passion. Who would love Because, that. you know, my passion right now is in the gym. And my passion right, right now is um, to surround myself with other people that have that same fire and passion. But, um, you know, you gotta, you gotta do you. You gotta find out what works for you and what you're so passionate about and then go after that. If it's weight loss, great. If it's self-motivation, great. If it's reassurance or just finding your inner self, then work on that. But, um, you know, I, I kind of had a really good self-esteem. I just needed the exterior to match my interior. Ooh, and that's where I found the passion of the fire is right here, um, working on my physical self in the gym. But you gotta do you and do what works for you. And, and it may not, and you know, go ahead, go ahead. But what I wanted to say is that passion, you know, you gotta find a reason why. If you don't have a reason why, and you don't have a focus, how do you continue to have consistency and determination? And so the reason why, I mean, for me, this was something, this was like a dream of mine that I thought was dead and buried in the ashes, and now I'm rising like a phoenix. You bet. You know? Oh, beautiful one. And, well, thank you. And, you know, and it's because I did find my passion. I did yes. figure out what I wanted, and now I'm just, like, going for it. And I'm not having any excuses about it. I'm just going for it. And that's what it takes is just to make that choice. It's a simple, simple choice of just going for it. I love and that. And then surrounding yourself, yes. for sure, yes. with, with motivated, motivated people mm -hmm. and people that are winners in your life because, you know, they say that the five people you surround yourself with are the, who you become. So you got to be really careful in who you surround yourself with. But, mm -hmm. you know, with a fit family like this, hey, <laughs> you can't go wrong. And would you almost say that you had more passion inside you than you ever thought was imaginable? Oh, absolutely. I, mean, I have what I no idea. Wanted. No yeah. idea that this, yeah. Okay, and I'm the vain one here. Oh, oh right. Okay, so we're sassy girl here. Oh, yeah. Put some, put some lipstick, because if you look in the mirror and you think, oh, I look pretty good, you're going to stay longer. You don't have to do weight. Start out with yoga. Start out with something. Get yourself comfortable. Then all of a sudden right. you're like, bam, bam, I'm looking good. I like coming here, and I'm meeting some good people. <laughs> Nothing Absolutely. wrong with the little makeup. <laughs> oh, that's right. Absolutely. Absolutely. I, I need a facelift. I mean, and let's get um, both in. Yeah. No, no, in no. Here. Wait a second. Wait a second. Because there's no way we could fit in there together. Um, it's if for for both not broken. It is one of the things that we do is depression, darkness, suicide prevention. It's day 790 of pulling people out of darkness and depression. Have you guys experienced those types of feelings of of depression and darkness? Not necessarily you know, thoughts of suicide, but we have a lot of people on the yes. show that that have yes. been from hell and then back. Talk yes. a minute, if you would, about that. Oh. Well, I, if you want, if you want, you don't have to. Okay. Yeah. Well, I think that people see the some of the, although we're always a work in progress, some of the finished product, and right. they don't see the journey that got us here. Mm -hmm. And um, I've actually been through a loss of a child. And if you don't think that that is one of the darkest hours that you could possibly go through. Mm -hmm. So um, I understand those deep thoughts. I understand the darkness that can some come over you. But the only thing that I can say is you find yourself. And a lot of times the best advice I can give you is it takes time. You have to allow yourself to have time and allow yourself to feel all of those emotions <coughs> that you're going through. Yeah, and, absolutely, because um, you bottle it up. Yeah, yeah. And, and, and give yourself give yourself an allowance. Emotional it's healing. okay, Emotional it's healing. okay. You're gonna feel those dark times and it's okay, and that's normal. But you will find the better, I promise. Give yourself time, there's always better. There's always tomorrow, right. it always comes. Absolutely. Um, mm. You know, you in, in my journey, I'm, I'm going through some stuff right now. I just went through a divorce. Um, I also have a son who's in a teen intervention school. He's dealing with computer gaming addiction, and I've seen him once since April. Mm. And, um, but he's doing amazing. 
And so my, my journey is, you know, I'm, you know, we do hard things and we can do hard things, yes. but we can push through them. And, and like I said, surround yourself with great people that bear you up, that they can give you um, some hope and moral yeah, support. And moral yeah. support. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. So even though we may look like a finished product, we still have life. We're dealing with life. Absolutely. But we don't let life get to us. We, we push through and, and make our way and, and know that tomorrow's a better day. I can't talk this. Bam. Um, bam. Thank you. Yeah. If, if yeah, in the words of Corey, bam. Bam. Uh, I love it. Appreciate everybody watching. Again, we're live up in Heber, and and you can tell that uh, I, I, they definitely need to be on the camera and not me. Um, any anything oh, that anything great. you guys want to plug real quick, and then we'll do our push-ups. Maybe you want to We're going to watch you on Saturday. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. What's so, going on on Saturday okay. and where is it? Saturday is the Utah Cup Championships, bodybuilding, physique, and bikini. And it starts at 10 o'clock in the morning. And we'll run all day till the, the evening show starts at 6. So pre judging's at 10. And you said it was, a, is it Cottonwood Heights? Uh, it's at Cottonwood Con High School. Cottonwood High School, yeah. sorry. Yes, Cottonwood okay. High School. All right. Uh, looking forward to it. Would love your support. Um, it's a great event. It really has yes. to come out and see oh, people that are so so excited. Okay, Flash TV, Flash Guru, TV. Makeup. Oh, yeah. Wonderful. Follow me on Flex Squad. And oh, coming up in us. April 22nd is the VidCon model search. Oh, I'll be there too. Check it out. Really? Business? Anything? You know anything? what? The only thing I'd like to plug is self motivation. Go oh, after it. She Go after awesome. it. Yeah, and she's a future, and after me too. Don't, she's future. not vain, and I'm bringing it out of her. You know what? Go after your dreams. Don't yes. let, no more excuses. Go after them. Inspire people. That's my, what I hope to do. My age, inspire people. Check out the guns. Check them out. Check out the guns. Welcome to the gun show. Absolutely. All right, let's see if we can focus down oh. here a little oh. bit. Uh, let's go. Let's go. I don't know if you want to do. We want to do push-ups on those or this right here. Let's do. We've got two of them here that we can do them on. So this, this. Uh, oh my word! How many are you doing? I'm doing 31. You're doing 31. Okay, can we all fit in here? Let's make it work. I think we can. So we're doing push-ups. Push, 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 the reason and the reason we do the reason we do push-ups and pull-ups and sit-ups and any kind of physical activity is to get those endorphins going. We talk about darkness, depression, suicide prevention. Remember that every 13, 13 minutes, uh, someone dies by suicide, and so this is to prevent and to get you out and get you motivated. So yes. here we go. Okay. Let's do it. So right. you might be doing 30. I'm going to do 30. Yeah. Right. I'll start. I'll go right here. You go right there. You're all on the camera. Hey, get over here. You guys need to get in the camera. <laughs> yeah. There we go. All right. All right. Here we go. Okay, here we go. Okay. Ready? Go. One. Two. two three. <laughs> four, four. Five. five six, six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. 16, nice job. 17, 18, 19, 20, oh my God. 20, come on, girl, come on, this. Three, two, 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 three, 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 two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, two, one, 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 two, two, one, two, 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 two,